The Houston Rockets season ended a lot earlier than a lot of fans expected, with them losing not in Game 7 to the Golden State Warriors, but in Game 6 on your home court without Kevin Durant playing for the Warriors? You knew the Rockets would look to make some type of moves come this summer, but the question is, what moves could this team make? You're giving Clint Capella a lot of money. You're giving James Harden, your franchise guy, over $30 million. Not to mention Chris Paul is around $40 million a year for an aging point guard. This team looked to be kind of trapped with what they got going forward. And there are reports that Chris Paul and James Harden are not on the best of terms. We're not gonna say Chris Paul demanded a trade, nothing like that. But there are reports that they're not on the greatest of terms right now. Uh, General Manager Daryl Moore has got some creativity to get to if he's gonna make this team better. And one thing that's being reported out in the atmosphere is that the Houston Rockets will be looking to land a big time free agent. You're thinking, how in the hell will they be able to do that with no cap room? They're gonna try to do it with a sign and trade. So they wanna see if they can convince the Philadelphia 76ers to give, not only just lose Jimmy Butler, but don't lose him for anything, right? They're gonna try to convince Philly on, yo, if you're gonna lose Jimmy Butler, let us give you some draft picks in return. Let us give you two of our best four or five players, right? In return and kind of just don't lose this guy Jimmy B for nothing. Now I can't tell you this, Philadelphia will go after Jimmy Butler, but it's up to Jimmy Butler to say, yo, I wanna be in Philadelphia long-term, or yo, maybe I wanna be in Houston. At that point, if Jimmy Butler told the Philadelphia 76ers, I wanna be a Houston Rocket, I'm going to them no matter what, it's then up for Philadelphia to say, should we let him walk? Or should we get some kind of compensation for him, right? Also, Tobias Harris. Let's say Philadelphia loses out on Tobias Harris if they're pursuing Jimmy Butler. That could also factor in. So then at that point, Daryl Morey and the Houston Rockets would try to trade two of these three guys. So between Eric Gordon, uh, P.J. Tucker, or also Clint Capella, two of those three guys you would expect would have to be involved in any type of trade with Philly. My guess is they probably want, if I'm Philly, they probably want Eric Gordon and P.J. Tucker. And I know that's a hit to that Houston Rockets team, but to get a guy like Jimmy Butler, a guy that can defend and also score, that can get his own shot, and, and I think most importantly, doesn't mind mixing it up with players, right? He's not going to defer to Chris Paul or James Harden. He's not just going sit to sit around on that bench and allow James Harden to chunk up 55 shots a game without him getting the rock. And honest to God, truth, Jimmy Butler is a lot of times more efficient than James Harden. And I don't think he's just gonna sit around on the perimeter and allow James Harden to lose you a basketball game in the playoffs. Remember, the Rockets went after Jimmy Butler heavy last season when he was an unhappy T-Wolf. And it just so happens the T-Wolves ended up making a deal with the Philadelphia 76ers for Robert Covington, Dario Syrik, and a couple of the pieces. So the Rockets have had their eyes on Jimmy Butler for quite some time. Now it's just, can they get Philadelphia to play ball? That's really what it comes down to. Can they convince the Philadelphia 76ers, look, you're gonna lose Jimmy Butler for nothing. He's, he wants to be in Houston. Can we work out a deal? Will you guys want Eric Gordon? Will you guys want P.J. Tucker, Clint Capella maybe? I don't think he makes a crap ton of sense. We already got Joel Embiid. You're not looking to take on a lot of cap, but something like that is what it would take to get this deal done. If Houston's gonna try to improve this roster by any, any means, because other than that, they're kind of just stuck. Nobody's taking that Chris Paul contract. Obviously, you can't trade your franchise guy, James Harden. Clint Capella's contract, I think is gonna be kind of difficult to trade. Uh, th this team is pretty stuck. They got to find a way to get creative unless they just want to bring this team back and try to give it a go without, uh, obviously the Warriors won't be at full strength next year. So we'll see what Houston does. I think a lot of Philadelphia's decision making comes with their other free agents. Don't forget, JJ Redick is technically a free agent. He wants to remain in Philadelphia. Uh, a lot of times they run sets through JJ Redick, but I'm not sure uh, what he'd be looking for on open market. JJ Redick could probably make 15, 20 million dollars for a couple years if he wants to. Also, Tobias Harris, like I said earlier, he has a big decision to make. Does he want to wait around for Jimmy Butler to finish his process or Philadelphia take their time? Or does he want to strike early 
and go after the money if the Knicks offer him a big deal. If if the Brooklyn Nets offer him a big deal, if they strike out on Kevin Durant and or, and or Kyrie Irving. So we will see. But Houston will be big game hunting for a free agent with no cap room. They're just going to have to try to finagle their way in with a sign and trade. And, and G GM Daryl Moore has been one of the best at making a way out of nowhere over the last few years. We'll see what happens. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.